Linux is becoming too easy. The gap with Windows is gone, and this is something many of us never thought we would say. For decades, Linux has been seen as the geek's playground, a place where only terminal wizards and hardcore open source lovers felt at home. It was fast, powerful, customizable, but also intimidating. People would say Linux is great, but not for ordinary users. Linux is free, but you must know how to use the terminal. Linux is powerful, but installing apps is difficult. Linux is secure, but hardware compatibility is a gamble. These were the excuses people used for years. But step back for a moment and look at Linux today. Explore the distros, test the desktops, install the apps, and something becomes obvious, Linux is not the complicated beast it used to be. In fact, Linux today is so simple that most Windows users could switch without needing a guide, without reading a tutorial, and without feeling lost. And that is exactly why Linux is becoming too easy, because the things that once scared users away no longer exist. Installing Linux is as simple as clicking Next. Drivers install automatically. App stores exist. Proton runs Windows games. Flat packs install with one click. And the biggest shock, many modern Linux desktops now look and behave so much like Windows that a user could sit down and use it instantly without a learning curve. Imagine sitting at your desk, downloading an ISO, flashing it to a USB, and booting up. Just a decade ago, this process alone was a technical challenge for most. Now tools like Bellina Etcher, Ventoy, even Raspberry Pi, Imager, Make a Child's Play. Then comes installation. Old installers were amazed. Choose partitions manually configure grub, swap size, mount points. But now distributions like Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, Pop, Underscore, OS Fedora, Zorin OS, even Arch-based distros like Endeavor OS and Garuda have guided graphical installers that ask basic questions. Time zone, username, install. Next, next, done. Within minutes, you're on the desktop. No terminal required. No configuration required. You plug in a printer, it just works. You connect Wi-Fi, it just works. Your Bluetooth headphones pair instantly. The stereotype that Linux is difficult is breaking apart. And for some longtime Linux users, this is both exciting and shocking because the thing that once separated Linux from Windows was complexity and control. Today we have both power and simplicity in one place. Think about software installation Windows users open a website, download a .exe, click next, next, finish. Hope no adware is bundled. On Linux today, you open the App Store, GNOME Software, KDE Discover, Mint Software Manager, Pop Shop, or Fl you search for an app, click install. That's it. No drivers, no dependencies to worry about, no command line required, and if you want even more power, you still have the terminal. But here's the twist. You no longer need the terminal unless you want it. New users can live comfortably in Linux forever without touching a command line. Even NVIDIA drivers, which were once the biggest nightmare on Linux, now install automatically in many distros or can be installed from a menu. Steam detects your GPU and sets things up. OBS runs without workarounds. Discord, Chrome, Edge, VS Code, Spotify, all available officially. And gaming the one area people always believe the Linux can never catch Windows, is no longer a weakness. Thanks to Proton and Wine improvements, thousands of Windows games run with one click on Linux. Steam Deck proved it. Millions of people are using Linux-based gaming daily without even realizing it. That's how seamless Linux has become. Let's go deeper. Desktop environment polish has reached a new level. Linux desktops used to look dated or inconsistent. But look at KDE Plasma 6. It is clean, modern, animated, flexible, and frankly smoother than Windows 11 on many systems. GNOME is minimal, elegant, fluid. Cinnamon gives a familiar Windows-like experience. XFCE runs like lightning on old computers. Cosmic Desktop from System76 is on the horizon, bringing even more modern design. And here is the crazy part. These desktops don't force you into ads, telemetry, Microsoft accounts, or unwanted features. You boot up and you own your system. No bloat stickers. No nags to switch to Edge. No pop-ups trying to sell subscriptions. Just pure computing. People switching from Windows genuinely describe Linux as peaceful, distraction-free, and fast. It feels like computers used to feel before everything became bloated and monetized. 
Meanwhile, Windows has gone the opposite direction. People are tired of forced updates, background services, telemetry ads in the start menu, subscription pushes, web-based file explorer experiments, and constant UI inconsistencies. Windows feels like a product trying to monetize users rather than help them. And in the middle of this user frustration, Linux quietly matured, polished itself, and removed barriers. The timing is perfect. People want an alternative and Linux is finally ready. Remember when installing codecs required terminal hacks? Today you play media and it works. Remember when Office documents had compatibility issues? Now LibreOffice on the Office, Google Workspace, solve it. Remember when creative apps were missing? Now we have DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Krita, Inkscape, Gedenlive, Gimp, Dartable, OBS and AI software is arriving too. The ecosystem is not just growing, it's exploding. Companies like Valve, System76, Slimbook, Tuxedo Computers are pushing Linux forward. Enterprises are adopting Linux servers. Cloud runs on Linux. AI models train on Linux. Android is Linux. Chromos is Linux. Steamos is Linux. When you zoom out, it becomes obvious that Linux already rules the digital infrastructure, and now it is stepping onto desktops with confidence. People often say Linux is free, but today Linux is not just free in price. It is free in philosophy. No license keys, no activation errors. Install it on as many systems as you want. Modify it. Share it. This freedom gives Linux a unique identity that no other mainstream OS offers. And yet, that freedom no longer comes at the cost of usability. Earlier, you had to understand how systems work to enjoy Linux. Today, Linux adapts to you. It meets you where you are. If you are a beginner, you can use it like Windows. If you are a power user, you can customize every pixel. If you are a developer, it gives you the tools you need. If you are a gamer, it runs your games. That versatility is stunning. It's like Linux has unlocked a new evolution stage, transforming from a specialist OS into a universal OS. So when we say Linux is becoming too easy, we mean Linux has grown beyond excuses. The walls keeping users away are falling. Let's imagine a real world scenario. A normal user who knows only Windows installs Linux Mint. They open the menu and see familiar things. Settings, File Manager, Control Panel, Style Configuration, Taskbar, System Tray. They connect their phone, transfer files, they watch YouTube, they install Chrome from the App Manager. Everything works. They don't think about kernels or package managers. They don't need to. They are just using a computer. Now imagine they discover time shift backup snapshots. System Restore better than Windows Restore. Imagine they update the system with one click and get the latest packages without restarts or forced downtime. Their laptop battery lasts longer because Linux uses fewer background tasks. They feel in control. They feel respected. This is the experience that is pushing Linux adoption forward. Tutorials on YouTube are reaching millions. People are curious, experimenting, switching. Even older people who struggled with Windows transitions are using Linux successfully. That was unthinkable 10 years ago. Another aspect is hardware support. Earlier you had to pray your Wi-Fi card or printer would work. Today the Linux kernel ships drivers for thousands of devices. Printers often work out of the box using IPP, AMD, and Intel GPUs run beautifully without configuration. Laptops optimized for Linux exist. Even frameworks like Pipewire fixed long-standing audio issues. Wayland is becoming a default, reducing screen tearing, and improving touchpad gestures. Things that required hacks before are now built-in features. Windows used to have plug-and-play advantage. Now, Linux also does. Many times, Linux boots on hardware and runs smoother than Windows does. The cultural shift is also interesting. Linux used to celebrate complexity. People bragged about configuring Arch, compiling kernels. That culture still exists and it's healthy because innovation comes from power users. But now there's a new culture forming accessibility. Linux distros are designing user experience like professional products. They focus on, on they care about visuals, they polish icons, animations, themes, they create curated app stores, they reduce fragmentation issues by expanding Flatpak and Snap packaging, they simplify driver management, they offer OEM images pre-installed. That shows Linux is thinking about average users, not just developers. 
This is why the gap with Windows is disappearing. Some might argue Linux is still not perfect. And that's true. There are proprietary apps missing like Adobe Creative Suite, MS Office, native version, some anti-cheat, DRM games. But ask yourself, are these missing pieces permanent barriers or temporary gaps? With web apps evolving, with Wine and Proton improving, with alternatives gaining popularity, the gap is shrinking. There was a time when video editing in Linux was basic. Now DaVinci Resolve works. Blender is industry standard. Gedenlev is powerful. There was a time when gaming was impossible. Now Steam Deck exists. There was a time when app installation was hard. Now you click install. There was a time when Linux looked rough. Now desktops look stunning. Slowly but surely Linux has crossed the threshold. It is no longer that system you test for fun then uninstall. It can be your daily driver permanently. Imagine another user scenario. A student installs Fedora Workstation. They open GNOME, see a clean desktop, swipe gestures, multitask in view, like Mac. They install apps from Flathav, they code using VS Code, they use containers for projects, they join Zoom classes, they record screen using OBS, they never open the terminal unless they want to learn. After a month, they forget they are using Linux, they are just using a computer. That is the real success. When the O's disappears into the background and becomes invisible, good design is invisible. Linux is reaching that level. Now, consider system performance. Windows often consumes huge RAM, even idle. Linux by default is lighter, faster, more responsive. On old hardware, Linux gives new life. People revive laptops from 2010, 2008, even older. Try that with Windows 11. Linux gives choice. Want lightweight XFCE, LXQT, want beauty KDE GNOME, want Windows like Cinnamon KDE with layout switch. Want Mac OS Elementary Deepin Zorin Windows offers one experience. Linux offers endless experiences. That flexibility is power. Now think about privacy. Users today care about data. Windows collects telemetry. Linux does not force you to share anything uh, you install and live privately. That alone attracts millions. Schools switch to Linux to avoid licensing costs. Government projects use Linux for security. Companies run servers on Linux. Cloud services rely on Linux. Developers start careers using Linux. And now home users find Linux friendly to... This convergence means Linux is entering mainstream consciousness. The narrative is changing. People used to ask, can Linux replace Windows? Now people ask, why should I stay on Windows? Linux becoming too easy means the learning curve barrier is gone. It means Linux mature. But it also means something exciting, competition, competition forces, innovation. When Linux becomes a realistic Windows alternative, Microsoft must improve. They can no longer rely on monopoly. Users have a choice. And when users have choice, software evolves. Linux improving benefits the whole industry. Uh, and it's not about killing Windows. It's about giving freedom. Freedom to choose what works best. Let's visualize the future. Five years from now, when Cosmic Desktop launches publicly, when Wayland stabilizes even further, when Anti-Cheat supports Proton natively, when more commercial apps offer Linux versions, when gaming stores integrate Linux support by default, when laptops with Linux pre-installed become common in stores, the consumer landscape will shift. A teenager buying a first laptop may choose Linux because it feels smoother. A developer will use Linux because it's native for coding. A content creator may edit videos natively on Linux. This is not fantasy. We are already moving in that direction. Look at the Steam hardware survey, Linux percentage rising. Look at YouTube channels, creating Linux content, exploding in subscribers. Look at mainstream media discussing Linux user growth. Look at people frustrated with Windows searching alternatives. The world is changing quietly. Linux becoming too easy is a victory. It means after years of passion, thousands of developers, millions of contributions, countless discussions, Linux is no longer only for experts. It is for everyone. Just like Android brought Linux to pockets, Linux desktop is coming to homes. And the beauty is that even as Linux becomes easier, it keeps its spirit. You still own your system. You can theme it, modify it, remove components, add features. Unlike Windows or Mac OS, 
Linux doesn't lock doors. It hands you the keys. But with great power comes responsibility. As Linux becomes mainstream, it must maintain stability and simplicity. It must continue polishing. It must present a unified user experience. It must ensure compatibility. It must balance innovation with usability. And the community must welcome newcomers. No gatekeeping, no elite. Because the future of Linux is not small. It is massive. The more people switch, the more developers join, the more software arrives, the more polished Linux becomes. Picture a future kid installing Linux like they install apps. Picture offices running Linux workstations. Picture AAA games launching day one with Linux versions. Picture Adobe releasing Creative Cloud Linux Edition because demand is large. Picture businesses choosing Linux for cost and flexibility. That future is not unrealistic anymore. The world is aligning. Technology is shifting. The old era of single OS dominance is fading. We are entering multi-platform freedom. Linux will not just exist. It will thrive. It already is. So the statement stands true. Linux is becoming too easy and the gap with Windows is gone. Not partially, not theoretically, but practically, the average user experience is now comparable. For many, it is better. And once people realize that they don't need Windows for everyday computing, migration becomes natural. They switch and they don't look back. Because once you taste an OS that is free, powerful, bloat-free, customizable, secure, private, and user-friendly. Going back feels uncomfortable. Linux is not chasing Windows anymore. Linux is becoming something Windows tries to keep up with. And whether you have been using Linux for years or you are new to it, you are witnessing history. We are living in the era where Linux finally breaks through the glass ceiling that held it back for decades. And that deserves celebration. If you are watching this video, maybe you are curious about switching. Maybe you tried in the past and failed. Try again. It is different now. Pick a user-friendly distro like Linux Mint, Zorin OS, Pop, Underscore OS, Ubuntu, Fedora, or KDE Neon. Install it on a USB or dual boot Explorer. You will be surprised how natural it feels. The tools are ready. The experience is ready. Linux is ready. The only question left is, are you? And as we conclude this journey, reflect on how far we've come. From a nerd-only OS to a polished, consumer-ready experience. From a system requiring commands to a system running with clicks. From a niche hobby to a mainstream competitor. Linux is evolving every day. And the best part is just getting started. The future is open. Uh, the future is customizable. The future is user controlled. And if Linux continues on this path, one day we might look back and say, not only is Linux as easy as Windows, but Linux is the better OS for most people. That future is closer than ever. The gap is gone. The game has changed. Linux is no longer an alternative. It is the answer.